Hi, my name is Paul Lawrence, and I've been in math education for over 40 years. If your kids are having trouble doing double digit multiplication, and you really want them to understand, and you want them to make the connection to the algorithm, you gotta, you gotta try this activity in your class. It works because kids start to understand the algorithm, and then they can produce the algorithm without the manipulative. But let me show you how this works. What we're going to do is we're going to use a little frame like this. On the outside of the frame, we're going to make the problem. On the inside of the frame, we're going to do the answer. So I'm going to multiply this 10 rod, that's 10, 11, 12, times 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. What happens is that we really have an array here. This is going to make a rectangle whose area is the answer to your multiplication problem of 12 by 13. So these are the dimensions of the rectangle. This is your area. So what we have to do is we have to think about writing down 10 plus 2 as 12 and 10 plus 3 as 13. Now, 10 times 10. We know that that is an array that is 100. We now know that we can multiply 10 times 3. This 10 by 3 rectangle right in here is going to be 30. We also know that the array down here is a 2 by 10, which is going to be 20. And then the array over here is 2 by 3. So that is going to be filled in with 6 cubes. Now, what's the answer? Well, the answer must be 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 156. Let's just check that one more time. I'm going to take off my bars, and I am going to make some little sub-arrays here. Let's check it again. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 3 is 30. 2 times 10 is 20, and 2 times 3 is 6, 156. What's really cool about that is then you can write down the algorithm and connect it directly to those base 10 blocks. Use the base 10 blocks first. If you like what I did here, we have hundreds and hundreds of ideas that are alternative ways to teach mathematics. We want you to go to llteach.com. We want you to take a look at the free offer we have on the content series. And we have to remember that when we teach math, every day is a good day.